Welcome. I'm the very first person that speaks English and is playing two piece. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm just gonna be here to give you guys some tips or some advice. Oh, by the way, they added like a. Oh, by the way, uh, on this update, don't get rid of your. If you have a freaking, what's it called, Goro sword, like the blue one, don't <laughs> don't replace it. I did not know that you had to freaking defeat God. To get the god sword now. I mean the Goro sword now, but yeah, I replaced it just to check out the pipe and um yeah, the pipe is trash. So I went to go kill freaking uh King and I didn't get my sword back, so that is very disappointing. But I have the op open open me, so I should be good. And I guess I'll have hockey and stuff. Yeah, I should be good. These are my stats right now. I used to have like a thousand on Sword, but you know, that's not gonna happen anymore. Maybe, yeah, actually, no, I'm gonna replace it real quick. So, yeah, first first thing of advice don't replace your uh, Goro sword. Don't be a big fat stinky poopy dummy without a Goro sword like I am. But, uh, yeah, just, just don't, don't try to replace your Goro sword. You're better off with the Goro Sword. Yeah, it's actually, like, really OP. I how do you get to the God Island without, um, a flying fruit? Because I really want to use my open, open fruit on that. But I don't think I can do it with hockey. So, yeah. Okay. So, real quick, I'm just going to give you guys some tips of advice. If you have the Goro Sword, and you have a, like, who knows, like, 300 or 200 on it, then like 200 points on it, I recommend that you start off your journey coming to the Yeti. It's like, you should be like level 200 maybe? Somewhere around there to like, come over here and fight this guy. I don't know what level you should be. I'm gonna make everyone boogie. Grubhub give, makes you boogie. Anyways, so yeah, uh, you should have a flying fruit or hockey. Hockey spawns here it'll spawn every like 30 minutes or no it might spawn every 30 minutes so it spawns like right here maybe they made some changes in the update you know trash updates coming out getting rid of my freaking goro sword no the updates are pretty good it's just that i'm dumb so yeah if try to find a way to get up here if it's with hockey or with a flying food it doesn't matter and just have pretty good with the goro sword i took care of this place i took care of this yeti very easy if someone has gave you the open open fruit then use that and just bop because, yeah. Oh, that, that, that's how good the op, op is. And Yeti Quest. I don't, this is the only boss with a quest I am, I think. So, yeah. It'll give you 50,000 XP, 300,000 gold, and 30 ruby. The Yeti will give you ruby. The question, the quest itself won't give you a ruby. Like, after you finish it, like, the, the quest won't give you ruby. Oh, shoot, I clicked on teleport. So, yeah, yeah, you just want to defeat this Yeti a couple of times. You know, three times. If you have an open, open, then use that, of course. Bro, this fruit, I literally love this fruit. It's literally been making miracles for me. Alright, so, yeah, finish that quest. You should level up a lot. Um, I'm already high level, so I won't level up a lot, but... Yeah, alright. So, up next, there's gonna be... So, yeah, I guess get to, like, level... Mm, a thousand, I'm guessing? I don't know. Somewhere, like, a thousand, a thousand three hundred. Get, like, only upgrade your Goro Sword and your... Like, only put stat points on the go on the sword and on health if you have the Goro Sword. But if you have the Goro Sword and the Open Open, then... The open open on me is already pretty OP, so I guess just put like a hundred on the open open, and like a thousand on the no, no no actually I put five hundred on the sword and like five hundred on health. You want to balance the sword and the health out because those two are very very helpful things. They're gonna want. I don't know what it just sounded like. I don't know if I just sounded like. Or, or, or. I don't know if I if you guys heard that. I don't know what I just said. All right, let's just continue. Okay, so, the next boss, well, you could also do, like, the little missions, guys, the little pirates over there, but I'm just gonna be showing you guys this is the bosses that you need to go to. The next boss, 
should be Little Pirate King, Pirate Master. Again, if you have the Ope Ope, very easy to kill him. Just keep, like, freezing time. And then, like, uh... Just punching him. But if you have the Goro Sword, that should make life way easier. Just keep punching him with the Goro Sword. But... Yeah, I have the open, open, freaking game. They didn't tell me that I needed to defeat God himself for the Goro Sword again. So, boom. <coughs> so, yeah, this boss is actually really, really good. Even, this even gives me a lot of levels. And I'm already, like, level 3,000, so. Yeah, you're going to want to do this boss for a bit. If you can't defeat him, then just go back to the Yeti and keep doing those missions. Or go to, I guess, the sky over there. But after you get to, like... Like level three, no, like two thousand, three thousand, somewhere around there. You can go over to uh, this boy over here. This guy, I absolutely hate him now because I didn't know that he wasn't gonna give me my sword. So uh, flip you, freaking king. There we go. Boom. At first I thought this was Mihawk until I realized that like every boss has that sword. So yeah. So, yeah, open open. Just do do your work. Ope ope. Just do your work. You know, just freaking destroy the frick out of this dude. Here, I'll just defeat him just for a video. I swear, bro, that Goro sword would be making life way easier right now. But the open open is also making life easy. And it isn't that hard. The Ope Ope isn't that hard. I'll show you guys how to get the Ope Ope. There. Okay, so after you def Before you got, like, the Goro Sword book, now you don't, so that flipping sucks. You have to go defeat the guy in the island over there. Like, up there, above the Sky Island. And... Yeah, and he's way harder. Here's where you get the open, open on me. Um, yeah, you can, uh, uh, for a possibility to try to get it. You know, it's like, uh, gambling. Roblox teaching kids how to gamble. Yes, sir, this is the game that I like. Anyways, uh, after you defeat that guy for a bit, um, if you can't defeat him, then I guess go to this island, because, yeah, he's actually pretty strong. So real quick, we're just going to get our saves over here. So yeah, I guess just do this, these quests. They're not that hard. At least for me, they're not. Oh, hold on. Is that? Yeah, 200,000 XP and 400,000 gold, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, here's where you get the legendary fruit seller. Even I can't afford this because I'm too broke. <laughs> uh, but yeah, don't buy this. Don't buy this. this is, these are my worst nightmares. I will take the jittle though because I kind of yeah, I kind of need the jittle. I don't really use the attack that the what's it called the pipe gives you. So the jittle is like more sh strong. The pipe, all it does is like send someone flying. I guess. Alright, just time to read this. The Jittle does more damage, so... It just doesn't have an attack. Yeah, that does way more damage than the freaking pipe does. Alright, I'm about to... <laughs> yeah, just defeat these guys. So yeah, the open open on me is definitely something that you want to get. Go defeat the, the pirate over there. Uh, He'll give you a lot of ruby. After you get, like, 2,500, go to that island over there in the waterfall. Get the open open. And your life should be way easier after you get the open open be. So yeah, that's basically all you need to know about what bosses to go to in this game. So uh, yeah, I'll just leave you guys to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe.